Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Libby Builds. Or if you're new here, hi, my name is Aaliyah and I build in The Sims 4. So, um, I bring to you another shell challenge. Um, seems like I just can't get enough of them right now. <laughs> Uh, this is probably, I think this is like my third one in a month, so that's like almost all of my videos this month, so. Oh well, but they're so much fun, and if you haven't tried doing any shell challenges, I would really recommend trying it. Um, it really helps you get out of your comfort zone as well, because sometimes when people do shell challenges, they make the shells really wacky and fun and weird, and really get you to try out new things, like for example, Beth made a lot of weird building block looking ones for this shell challenge and there were like two pyramid looking ones. There was an upside down pyramid, pyramid that's not upside down, and then there was other building blocks um, in the shell as well. But I really like Beth's shell challenges because she gives you the option. She's like, here's four shells, use as many as you want. You don't have to use all four of them, but you can use one, two, three, or four and depending on what you want to do. So I decided to use both the pyramid ones and I took the upside down pyramid and I like raised it up a level. So I technically changed it for the fact that I raised it up a level. So the um, original first floor is now considered the second floor, but the shell is the same. It's just floating. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I have no idea what this build is. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I have to say, it's definitely the wackiest build I've ever done. Um, if I had to describe it, I don't even know. Jungle adventure, no, like magical jungle pyramids. I don't even know. Like, I bring in the whole magic idea because there's a floating pyramid and um, what came to mind is in Mario Odyssey in Sand Kingdom, there's like the giant flowing, floating pyramid. And so that's kind of what I guess the inspiration behind my idea of what to do with this was. And I just kind of made it jungly. And because it was floating, I was like, there has to be magic involved. So I have to say, this is definitely the weirdest, wackiest build I've probably done in a long time. And if I'm being completely honest, it's, it's I don't even I don't know how to describe it, but I hope you're you're gonna enjoy it. I actually really like how it turned out um, because I did say that um, it reminded me of like Sand Kingdom from uh, Mario Odyssey. I started off with making it all very sandy around here, but I ended up changing that later on to make it more jungly. So. That's why I didn't really show much of the beginning part and I cut out the landscaping where I put a bunch of cacti down because I don't end up keeping it so I just make- you don't need to watch that. <laughs> but you'll see later on after we go on the inside I pop back out and we do the landscaping. So the landscaping's kind of in the middle of the video this time but I hope that's okay. I actually really love the landscaping so I'm glad I changed my plan from what I was doing before. But like I said, this is a shell challenge run by Bethel Simmer. Um, you can find her on Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, everything. She's an amazing, lovely creator. Uh, and um, I'm glad to call her my friend. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna read out the rules that she posted on her Twitter. Um, so yeah, the hashtag is Beth's building blocks because they're all like weird block shapes and stuff like that. Um, you can choose one or more of the available shells. I chose two. Um, can be any theme, any packs, be creative. So this is this is what I did. This is me being creative. Um, you can use half walls, fences, basements, roofing, and add slash delete interior walls, but do not replace walls on the exterior with fencing. Those are typical shell challenge rules. Um, so that's, that's good. Uh, no CC or mods, so obviously I don't use any build CC, so that was fine by me. And do not touch the exterior walls. Typical shell challenge rule there. Um, can merge the shells, but the walls must be the same. So that's actually really interesting because she has four different shells. If you wanted to, you could take all four of them and put them into one 
giant build. As long as you don't touch the walls, even if they are considered interior, at that point you can't move those specific walls. I think I would get confused by that if I did that. I'd be like, wait, was this a part of the original build or is this an interior wall I put in? Can I delete this? I think I would get confused. Mine two are separate and I think it's kind of fun what I did. I definitely like the interior. I kind of made magic slash jungle. So there's a weird mix of the two styles in the house. Um, but I think it turned out kind of cool and fun. And I did build in um, the jungle adventure world um, just because I never do. And to get the jungle effect, I thought it would be fun to do it there. And yeah, I think it I think it turned out okay. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, have you tried this shell challenge yourself? And if you haven't, um, you should. I think there's still time. Um, deadline April 14th. So there's still a little bit of time for this shell challenge if you're interested in doing it. And speaking of shell challenges, um, I actually have a shell challenge of my own running right now in case you didn't know. Um, this is to celebrate me hitting 300 subscribers on YouTube. Um, you can find the information to that. Uh, I'll put a card up for it so that you can check it out if you're interested. Um, all the information will be in that video that I will link, but if you're interested in another shell challenge, you can find it on my gallery ID Levy Builds. But if you're interested in this shell challenge, you can find it using uh, the gallery ID Bethel Simmer. And I would definitely recommend you do this one because it is wacky and weird and really pushes you to your limits. I, I'm i pretty happy with what I did. At first when I had it all sandy and desert-like, I wasn't enjoying it. But once I put in all the plants, I put it back to grass, I added this giant water feature sort of thing under it to make it be like, look, this thing is floating, guys. Look, it's over top of water. Um, once I did that, I ended up liking it a lot more and I'm really, really happy that I made the decision to make it more jungly, especially because I was building in Jungle Adventure. It would be kind of weird if I left it as sand. So I don't know what I was thinking originally, if I'm being honest. And now I'm just kind of putting rocks all around the pond, I guess that's what you would call it. <laughs> and uh, I don't have tool mod. Um, in my game so this is all just me fiddling around with some different rocks these are the ones from uh get together and i think it worked pretty well um i had to maneuver it a little bit but uh, you get to see a little bit of me placing some rocks because i know some people do enjoy watching some landscaping so there you go you see some landscaping and and then after this we'll head back inside and we'll finish um, furnishing the interior. So far we've done the kitchen slash dining space that's in the first floor, but based, be, based on the fact that I like lowered the house down, it's technically like the basement, but it's really the first floor that I just lowered down. Um, I guess the entrance to this house is a little weird because you climb up all those stairs and then you can walk down to get to the kitchen and dining space, but right when you walk in on the second floor um it's like the little t it's not very big but it is a small little living space because because it's a pyramid um each space gets smaller as you get higher up so i put the kitchen and dining space together in the biggest room and then had the living room and then on top of that we've got a small little what is it Oh, it's like a gardening room or something like there's a flower arrangement table up there and then when you're on the second floor here um in the living room there's a door out back that goes to a balcony that i added but it's just like a platform that connects the two pyramids and then you walk over there and it enters into just a room with a ladder in it basically because it was so small i couldn't really put anything other than picture frames and a plant and a ladder so then once you climb up there you get into the um oh it's like a magic room you've got the potion the thing the potion thing when i think of the word for that i'll probably yell it out but <laughs> the thing for realm of magic that you make potions in um is in that room um i was gonna try to fit a seance table in here as well because i did use a lot of um paranormal but i didn't end up finding a good space for it 
um, because I did want to add in like a little office area. So I opted to have an office area outside of the bedroom and bathroom area that's also in the upside down pyramid. So yeah, above the um, potion room, you've got the bedroom, bathroom, and tiny little hallway office area, and another ladder up that goes to the rooftop garden. Um, the rooftop garden is probably my favorite part about what I did with this build. Um, because it's like the fourth level up, I wasn't able to actually put fences on for a like uh, pergola style thing, so I ended up just raising a bunch of plants and raising the jungle adventure like wall items. I don't know what they're what they would be called, but I raised those up and tried to make it look like I had put a pergola because you know how a lot of people make those with the base game fence that's like really it's a short fence. Um, I wish I had the, the name of the fence so that I could share it, but um, a lot of people use that fence. I've done it plenty of times as well. But because I couldn't make a fence because it was too high, you can only have a limited amount of levels on the build and that was considered doing another level, I just kind of tried to pretend like I did make one and I think it turned out really nice. So up on the roof you've got a little seating area and there's some, there's like a barbecue, even though it's really, really far from the kitchen, the barbecue, I figured that it was the really the only outdoor space I had here because the entire lot is just a garden jungle thing because I wanted this to kind of be like a pyramid hidden away in the jungle rather than this be like a house with a backyard especially because this is a vacation home anyways it's not like your sims will come here by the way it's really expensive when I did the tour um, I had to have a sim come on vacation so that I could do the tour properly and get the footage for the video and it's really expensive. I had them stay for three nights because sometimes the lighting isn't good. I like make the time go fast so that I change it, change the day, and then oh my gosh, it's raining, so I have to get the rain to go away, and then the lighting's bad again. And so I wanted to make sure I had buffer space so my sim didn't just go, okay, bye, I'm going home. So I gave them three days there, and the three days cost them almost 6,000 simoleons. So it is definitely an expensive getaway, but it's kind of cool. I honestly don't expect anyone to play with this, but if you are interested in playing with this, it is on the gallery. Um, my gallery ID again is Libby Builds. So I mean, if you're interested in playing in a wacky kind of cool build, go for it. <laughs> it's up there. So I always upload all my builds no matter whether or not I think people will play in it because I don't know, some people might be interested and I want to keep that option available for for anyone who does. So yeah, this is what I was talking about. We got the bedroom, little office area. So I could have tried to fit a seance table in here, but if I'm being honest, it's not that big of a space. And I think the seance table would have just not fit perfectly. And it doesn't need to be haunted here. It would be nice that I planned on it being haunted, but it really doesn't need to be haunted. It's just, it's a pyramid. There's no dead bodies in this pyramid. <laughs> but we are on the rooftop patio now, so um, this is definitely my favorite part of the build. But let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of this build is. Do you like the build? And do you think I did okay with this really weird wacky shell challenge and have you done this shell challenge i would love to hear about it in the comments down below and if you haven't already make sure you hit that like button and if you're new here i would love for you to stick around and hit that subscribe button i post videos every tuesday and i will leave you guys now for the tour um it's just a short little cinematic tour but i will see you in the next one okay bye bye